This is what Akaza's ultimate looks like in Demon Slayer. But if you change your perspective a little bit, this is what it looks like. Demon Slayer is a fantastic looking game, but to pull off these amazing visuals, sometimes there's some tricks that you can't quite see. Unless you shift your perspective a little bit. So there's this guy on Patreon who made this tool for Unreal Engine 4. So theoretically, this tool works on all Unreal Engine 4 games. It has a bunch of features and one of them is to unlock the camera. Naturally, I had to try it out in Demon Slayer just to see what all of this looks like. And that's what we're doing today. I'm digging through the entire raw to look at some of the weird stuff that you can catch if you just shift the perspective a little bit. We are going to start by looking at every single animation from these characters. Okay, we have a free camera. Look at that. Let's start with the grab from Tanjiro. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Usually it's zoomed in like this, so you don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is on his tippy toes, but he's not touching the ground. Sabito's like, uh oh, I don't like what's coming. <laughs> what is this surge animation? Oh, what's that arm doing? <laughs> it's like a little puppet. Ultimates are usually pretty hard to follow. I'm gonna zoom in as best as I can, give you an overview, and here's why it's hard. Every single camera cut that exists, these guys are just teleporting. Water dragon focus. And there it is. Boom. All of that is really good. Except for that. What? <laughs> what is happening with his legs? <laughs> Damn, Tanjiro really did you dirty. If you zoom it in like this, yeah, it looks great. I mean, kinda, you need to find the right angle. But then you zoom out, and what's he doing with his little legs? There's the dragon. Oh my god. Look at the resolution on this guy. Holy crap, that's gorgeous. And even the water effects, and actually, like, they blur the whole thing. It's not a depth of field effect, they just blur the entire screen. It's like a fake depth of field, it's really cool. I bet they fake Nezuko's leg during her grab. <gasps> they don't? Wait, that's her actual leg. That's her actual- Okay, no, perverts, stop. Okay. But that's- yeah, that's just the model. I thought the leg would come off or something. <gasps> what happened to her face? Oh no, Nezuko! You know what it is? I think this shot you'll see it from this angle. Like just sideways Nezuko running. And it looks great from this shot, but it's not how humans work. Look at that! Oh, what have they done? <laughs> Sabito's ready to take a beating. He's just standing with his sword hilt. What what happened? Why? Why is that a thing? Isn't this Oh, because of this effect? Just to give her a little smile? You had to make her mouth look like that? <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, the, she does it again during your grab animation too. I'm sorry to all Makomo stands, but I might be ruining this character for you. And that's just so this shot works. For that shot to work, here's what you gotta do to her face. Ooh. <laughs> that's funny. Like they, they didn't change the model here. It's just like this effect they applied, but that's a funny face. <gasps> Johnny, Johnny. Oh, that's pretty cursed. Oh, Zanity is gonna be good. <gasps> <Ooh -hoo -hoo! laughs> His legs grew. His legs grew a lot. I knew Zanity would not disappoint. Run. <laughs> they needed so much space for this ultimate. For Murata to slip and fall, they did teleport him like twice. I think Murata looks good through the whole thing. Except on this specific angle, where something happened to his face. Like it turns into Smeagol. That's not even a face. You know it's embarrassing? It's not really like failing your ultimate in the middle of battle. It's your mouth. He has a fake mouth in front of his mouth. And now you know. Damn, Shinobu! Who gave you a lightsaber? Hello there. By the way, uh, you can totally just leave the map borders too. I think there are some maps that are more fun to do this than this one, but hey, it's complete with rooms and everything. Imagine spectating a Demon Slayer match from right here. First person spectator mode. That'd be cool. I mean, obviously you'd see an ultimate like this and maybe that's not really what they want. It's like, what? Huh? What is happening? What? But just normal gameplay might be actually kind of cool. I don't know. I can't turn the camera and play at the same time. That was Arnovut missing an ult right there. Oh. He's not holding the sword. He's not holding it! That's the true secret behind this pose! We have to look at Akaza. We have to. <gasps> <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, that's too good. <laughs> uh, you know what this is? It's the frontal shot. It's the shot that looks like this. For you to, you know, see his face right uh, next to his hand. I can't quite get the shot here. But it's something like this. The thing is, you can't unsee it now. You just cannot unsee it. Where is he? <gasps> there he is. <laughs> see, this pose looks pretty normal. Right? But then... Oh! Noodle arms! He's back! Everybody's gone surfing. Arr! Arr! This is kind of the angle, but this. Arr! Oh my god! Oh my. Ugh. Every Nezuko face during the sequence. Oh goodness! Okay, so the leg is perfectly fine, right? Attached to her body, uh, but then it raises a couple of inches more. Is it still there? No, no, that's not how legs work. And then the end of the ultimate, which is so menacing. With like Nezuko looking down on you, with the hair in front of her face. It's one of the best poses ever. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Who is she? Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna look at the three new DLC characters because I know you guys want to. This one for sure. This one for sure. Right here. Right here. It's uh, it's actually totally fine. It's just a good pose. It's just good camera work. Holy crap! Really? I stand corrected. Those swords are way too big. There is no way those swords are way too big. There you go. There you go. Look how big those swords get! Huh? Oh, Tangent. Oh, Tangent buddy. God, he looks like a maniac! Tangent was the real villain all along. There's another godly shot. Oh, this is such good Discord emoji material. You have no idea. Let me look at this ultimate from a big vantage point. I want to see how much it moves around. Because it looks insane. Look at that! Oh, they go nuts with it. Sheesh. Since we're here, though, check out this map. You got this big lake with a fountain and everything. You got what I have to assume it's a theater on the other side of the lake. The posters are going to be, like, very low resolution because they're only meant to be seen from a distance. I mean, look, they even made this fake text here in front of this ticket booth. And actually, the resolution on these things is pretty good. We're so far away. Hey, yo, Tangan, jump for me, just so people... Yeah, thank you. Just so people can see how far away we are. And that's just one side. Obviously, there, there's a whole other side with people and cars. My bad, there were no cars. There's this, though. Uh, yeah, you can still kind of see the fight from here, right, Tangan? Yeah. So that's why it has to turn the corner and then vanish, probably. Uh, still goes on for a while. Damn. Yeah, here you can't see anything. That's really cool. Anyway, this has already taken way longer than I was expecting. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do this again, but for story mode. Because I did take a sneak peek and this happened. Cut his mask! Ha! Huh. What? So yeah, if that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know in those comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. My name's Globku and I'll see you next time. Boy!